Welcome back to The Comments Show, and it is indeed now silly season. The transfer window has opened. A literal window, did there? That's a really good joke, isn't it, Karen? Yeah, well done, thank you. It's new, it's improved, it's me saying the same old stuff, but I'm now legally obliged to wear the colour yellow, and I've changed the background. Real Madrid manager Zinedine Zidane was reported to have said after their 2-0 loss to Real Betis that if I had a fourth sub, I would not have brought Bale on. A Spanish radio station then reported that Gareth Bale had told his teammates if they want me to go, they'll need to pay me 15 million a season. If I have to play golf, I will. Now, it's not outrageous to say that Bale is clearly not in Zidane's plans. And these quotes are outrageous. However, I am afraid to tell you all that despite everyone and their dog reporting these as true, these quotes are categorically not true. Or at the very least, the dance is definitely not. Ben Hayward here, the Spanish football correspondent for the London Evening Standard, was at the post-match press conference where Zidane was supposed to have said these words, and he said that he didn't say them. Zidane actually said, if I had brought on another player, the same thing would have happened, meaning that whoever he does not sub on, people would have still asked, oh, why didn't you play here? Why didn't you bring him on? He certainly did not say that fourth sub rubbish. No one in Spain is reporting that fourth sub quote, which should tell you everything, because if he did say that, then they definitely would be all over that, wouldn't they? However, everyone in England is. So uh, if someone over here could just learn Spanish, that would be great. So that is officially confirmed fake news. As for the Spanish radio station quote, it's impossible to prove that to be true or false, but I'd say it literally doesn't matter if it's true or not. Bale will probably do that, and you can't really blame him for it. Don't offer a contract if you don't want to abide by it. So where will Gareth Bale go? He's been heavily linked with Manchester United for just bloody ages, and it'd be very Manchester United to buy him. However, I can only picture Gareth Bale not giving a crap and genuinely just playing golf. He built an entire golf course in his garden. He's done. He's retired. He does not care. He's living the dream. All football does is hurt his body. He's won enough major trophies to be more than happy with his career if he just stopped now. He is financially set for life. But where do you think you will go? Get your comments and reasons down below in the comment section. Chelsea Football Club have been linked with absolutely no one because they are banned from making any transfers. Eden Hazard is as good as gone. They will finish 10th. I'm sorry, Zaka Nobuseki, but your club has entered the banter club zone for the 1920 season. Enjoy it. Argentinian Paolo Dibbler that's how I like to pronounce it, is apparently on the move after his agent, who is also his brother, has come out and said that he needs a change. He is no longer happy at Juve because of Cristiano Ronaldo. Ooh. Apparently that unhappiness, however, is purely on the field. Dybala hadn't played less than 3,000 minutes a year since the 13-14 season. He played 3,378 minutes for Juve last year, but after the introduction of Ronaldo, he dropped to just 2,600. It's a bit like when they reintroduce an animal into the wild and it ends up just killing all the other animals. His output has been dramatically affected too. He's always operated best as a second striker or a centre forward in a 4-2-3-1 formation. He frequently managed double digits in both goals and assists playing like that. But now with Ronaldo on the left wing, Juve has switched to a 4-3-3 and Dybala gets shunted out onto the right wing, where he is nowhere near as effective or clinical. So, should Dybala move? Yes. He's won all he can in Turin, apart from the Champions League, and that can be done elsewhere with a team more likely. However, the team strongly linked with him is also Manchester United. You can't win a competition you're not in. So that's an issue, but he may not care too much about that. I don't know, I'm not him. If Ole Gunnar Solskjaer can convince Dybala that he'll build a team around him, as well as provide him with a healthy pay rise, then, you know, he could go. Stranger things have happened. If I had to put this on a scale of likelihood of happening this summer, I would give it a strongly worded maybe. Breaking news, and getting it in right now. We have news of a huge confirmed transfer. Uh, Ben Richards Everton has disappointingly not joined Everton, but has joined Bradford City from Accrington Stanley. After long talks between the two clubs, they both agreed they would pay nothing. <laughs> Last week, Ask Official asked how Real can be great again. You've done it before and you can do it again. Spend a sh Ton of money! Real Madrid have a lot of money and also a lot of players really want to play for Zinedine Zidane. You're already going to buy Hazard, but also go buy Paul Pogba. He, he'll join you in a heartbeat and rightly so. That man is wasted. 
and a dying United side. You can then try to sell Gareth Bale for spare parts and then go by Soldado, Paulinho, Eric Lamella, Eriksson, Chadley, Kapue and Vlad Kirikez. That'd be good, wouldn't it? In other news, Dennis Nakamura has raised the point that City could get banned from the Champions League for allegedly breaching FFP or some other rubbish. Oh, hang on. I've just received some new information on this topic as we speak. I can indeed confirm that for some reason why, I just don't care. I don't care about being banned for a season from the competition where not even 50% of the final tickets are allocated to actual fans of the two finalists. And where the same organisation that runs that competition also run another competition where they put the final in a country that no one can really get to and where one of the Arsenal players has legitimate reasons to be worried about his safety. Nope, I do not currently seem to care about that. Let's go win the Premier League with like a maximum 114 points. Schalke Schau. A bittersweet moment this. The last ever Schalke Schau. We've had twists, we've had turns, we've had nice retro jumpers, and we've had me ramble on about this random German club for an entire year, just so I can get this video to at least 10 minutes every week. It's been so much fun even right down to the last bloody game of the season, where we drew nil-nil with Stuttgart. Good game, that. Really good game. But I will not put you through it all again next season. We need a new club, a non-German club, and you get to pick. And I know before we said Ibar, but I just can't do it purely based on their kit and badge. It's so goddamn ugly. Like, I will not, I can't support, I can't bear to look at that. It looks rubbish. So, Comment your suggestions down below for which non-English and non-German club you would like me to follow next year and learn a bit more about. Then, the next episode, I will put my four favourites in a poll and you can all vote, if we remember the poll. But for now, long live Schalke and I shall still watch you every week regardless. If you would like Schalke updates still, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter as I will never let go. I'm emotionally attached forever. Wir lieben dich! Oil money. Our first meme comes from Crazy Guy 45900 IQ. We should all make terrible memes and Schalke memes just so Kieran can feature us on the comments show. You get points for having the Spider Man doing the keynote uh, speech thing. Love it. Good meme. However, you've poorly removed whatever was behind what you've written over. Okay, so minus points for that. Don't like the font. Minus points for that. Why have you made it black and then put a white? Thing around it. it's just it, you could have just left it black couldn't you poor attempt by photoshop because i don't believe you've done that on photoshop because that would be a joke with all the tools available embarrassing rubbish meme i saw i liked it but i sort of didn't at the same time so i've wasted my breath on this next meme swimming drop 144 i know you downvoted my last meme kieran you well you spelt my name wrong there on purpose didn't you little bastard literally everyone looking away from the spelling of my name, to look at the one with a K and an E. I'll tell you this now, don't like that spelling. I've never met a Karen spelled like that who isn't a little bitch. Okay. Even at school, everyone called that, was just, you're just like, whoa, you're, I'm much better behaved than you. <laughs> I've met some which are fine, so it's okay. Uh, and as you can tell there, Swimming Drop, I did downvote that meme, so. Comment of the week, week of the Schalke. Didn't even make sense, but still. Rita Messi, his eyes look more blue on his personal channel. Thank you, Rita. You have a look, there you go. I appreciate the commitment to watching me on both my personal channel and on Football Daily. I also sincerely hope your account name is actually a combined fan account for Rita Ora and Lionel Messi. I'd be fully behind that. This has been a comment show transfer special. Let me know down below if you enjoyed it and if I should continue to do more over the summer. Mon the Schalke, and I shall see you all next week. I won't see you all, I don't see, actually I saw someone at the football. I went to Wembley and I bumped into someone and they were like, oh, all my mates think, say I look exactly like you and he did look exactly like me and it was really strange. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, it was, they were generally something like, oh, he looks like me. Man, he looked better than me to be honest, which is annoying. But. Bye.